Well, to matters education now, Cabinet Secretary for Education Ambassador Amina Mohamed is expected to visit selected schools in Nyanza following a spate of student unrest. The region recorded a, the highest number of school riots in this month. Our reporter Kevin Ogutu is there for us. But quickly, yesterday, the Education Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Amina Mohamed read the riot act to the students causing mayhem in schools. Most stringent measures have been put in place to try and stop this wave of unrest in schools just a few months before uh, the KCSC examinations begin. But let's quickly start with some of the regulations that were put in by the predecessor, Dr. Fred Matiangi, last year when the same thing was happening when he was Education Cabinet Secretary before moving to the Interior Ministry. Well, these are some of the strict regulations that were put in place by Dr. Fred Matiangi, saying that KCSC examinations have now been shortened. The period has been shortened from six to four weeks. This was especially to try and curb examination uh, cheating. Head teachers directly be in charge of tests in school. Second term was extended to August the 12th from the 5th of August, making their holidays um, a bit uh, shorter. Now, term two holidays were shortened by two weeks, as I've mentioned. The third term was lasting nine weeks from the previous 12, and visiting days in boarding schools in term three were abolished. These are some of the measures that were put in place by Ambassador Amina Mohamed's predecessor, Dr. Fred Matiangi, when he was just trying to deal with an array of issues, the wave of unrest in schools, as well as trying to curb examination cheating um, the previous year. Now, no prayer day social activities in third term, and all non-academic activities scheduled done in first and second terms only. This first batch of students working on this particular examination this year are those that have been guided by these particular regulations. And this, of course, was a move to try and curb cheating in both KCSC and KCPE examinations. Yesterday, Education Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Amina Mohamed also came up with a set of rules um, uh, uh, just to try and curb the wave of unrest that are being witnessed across the country, especially in Nyanza region. Let's take a look at some of the ultimatums she's come up, she's come up with as, as the Education Cabinet Secretary. All boarding schools uh, will now double the number of teachers on duty to just ensure that um, the manning of uh, security and student uh, behavior is up to speed. Now, Criminal records will reflect on school living certificates and future clearance certificates of the offenders who are the students. So now they will not be let off the hook. This is something that will stay with them for a long while in terms of records of school living certificates. Quality assurance officers in all counties will file daily reports to secure on security situations in their region. And of course, they will be filing this with security authorities in that particular region to just try and monitor the status as it is. All acts of student unrest to be criminalized by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. The Ambassador uh, Amina Mohamed said that she fully supports this move by DCI to criminalize these records and student criminal records will be reflected in their certificates from now hence, henceforth. This was the riot act that was read yesterday to students, especially those who are wrecking havoc.